Hey guys, so Jane here from Legend Gaming. This video, with all the Battlefield 1 news that's going around, people seem to be extremely hyped for the game. And I don't really want to be a downer, but I just sort of want to talk about what could go wrong with Battlefield 1 and why I think it's a little overhyped at this point in the game. Now, to start off, the trailer has around 30 million views and an insane like to dislike ratio. Everyone says how the game's going to be insane and how they're so hyped for the game. But the problem is, is we haven't seen any real gameplay yet. We've only seen a trailer from the in-game engine. We haven't seen any real gameplay. We don't know all the weapons, vehicles, and stuff that are going to be in the game. And we really just don't know enough to make that kind of judgment about this game. I really don't want this game to go down the path of something like Titanfall where it was so overhyped. And then when the game was still a pretty good game but it didn't live up to the insane expectations, it flopped. Now here are some things that could go wrong in Battlefield 1. And ultimately I think this game will be fairly successful. But here are some of the things that could potentially hold it back and why you may want to tone the hype down just a little bit on this game until we see some real gameplay at EA Play. Now the first thing and most obvious is the lack of weapons. Well, DICE has said that they will have plenty of weapons, we cannot be sure. Battlefield Hardline had quite a few weapons, but people still complained because it wasn't nearly as much as the 150, I believe, weapons and gadgets in Battlefield 4. More weapons means more customization for the player, and that's another thing that we may be lacking in this game, and it's sort of guaranteed that we will lack this. You won't have red laser sights, green laser sights, cobra sights, ACOG sights in this game. You'll have maybe iron sights, well for sure iron sights, and maybe some scopes on each gun, but that's about it. We won't have too much else in this game, and that really detracts away from the customization that we will see in this game. In addition to this, skins. While they've said that there will be weapon skins, if they want to make it an authentic World War One shooter, I find it hard to believe people running around with a green and green zebra camo and pink zebra camo like we saw in Battlefield Hardline. The lack of weapons and content that we could potentially see in this game will, as a result, make it hard for this game to retain players. While I still believe that it will be pretty successful, as the sales numbers will be extremely high with the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare hate, after the initial hype of the game, I find that a lot of the Call of Duty players that may migrate over, new players that may migrate into the game, may not like it as much as they expected and may find that it gets old relatively quickly. For me personally, I'm going to play the heck out of it no matter what, but I feel that a lot of people may not just simply because of the lack of weapons. I mean, this game has been talked about more than any Battlefield in history, and a lot of my friends who never associated with Battlefield are talking about this game and talking about potentially getting it, which is just something that's different from all the other Battlefields, and what could either make this Battlefield huge or make it flop, because if this game gets so much feedback and so many people to buy it, and then it flops, that could taint the Battlefield franchise. Another thing is shaky netcode. While I believe this is one of the least worries that we should have, because Hardline and Battlefield 4 seem to fix the netcode, this could still be a possibility. Between developing Star Wars Battlefront and Mirror's Edge Catalyst, DICE has been pretty busy, and I'm not sure they may, they've put all their effort into Battlefield 1. This could result in stuff like shaky netcode, weird connections, and stuff like that at launch. Well, I feel like they'll definitely fix it after launch if it is an issue. By that point, it may be a bit too late for the game. However, I am so confident that they will have a good netcode at launch. Now, another thing that seems to have popped up here and there is DLC exclusivity. Um, a lot of you may know that Call of Duty has DLC exclusivity with PlayStation 4, meaning they get the map packs and DLC one month early. And since that the trailer said it was sponsored by Xbox. We already know that EA has a deal with Xbox called EA Access and Origin Access. We may see DLC exclusivity for Xbox One. This would not be very good for the game at all, especially since a ton of the fan base is on PC and a ton of fan base is on PlayStation 4. Xbox One is the third most played platform for Battlefield 4 and Hardline, and this could just really frustrate the community and turn a lot of people off from the game. Well, I really hope EA doesn't do this and the exclusivity that we see is just that the game launches a week early on Xbox, which I'm perfectly fine with because that doesn't have a lasting impact on the game. I just hope that they do that instead of giving actual DLC exclusivity. In addition to this, 
no helicopters is probably going to be big for a lot of people. There are a ton of attack helicopters and Little Bird users. That's the reason why they play Battlefield, is to get in that helicopter and use that, and we just don't have that in Battlefield 1. While they're adding other vehicles like the Armored Train and Battleship that I believe will make up for this, I'm not sure if a lot of helicopter players will come back. However, that is a pretty niche market for the Battlefield franchise. And lastly, and probably one of the bigger ones, is the lack of, quote, Battlefield moments. And many of you may be like, what the heck, did, did you not watch the trailer? You saw how many Battlefield epic moments there were in that trailer. But obviously a trailer is scripted. There's going to be a ton of moments that are epic in a trailer. If they didn't do that, they'd just be flat out stupid. Now, one of the main things is that there's no rocket launchers. That's one of the biggest staples of the Battlefield community is getting those insanely long-range rocket shots on jets, the rendezvous, that insane stuff, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to replicate that in this game. Obviously, we have sniper rifles, so we can do Ronde snipes, but those are so much more skillful than Ronde zooks. I'm not sure how that will work. Obviously, a lot of this is left up to interpretation, as, like I said before, we don't have any gameplay yet. I just want to make sure that you guys are wary about how hyped you get for this game. I'm obviously hyped for it, but I wouldn't say I'm overhyped by any standard. I mean, this game could be great, but it could be bad. I mean, it's the same with infinite, same principle with Infinite Warfare. We haven't seen gameplay. Who knows? It could be the best COD ever. Don't quote me on that, because I don't think it will be. But until we see gameplay, we can't know with either of these games. So I'd wait until EA Play to make your full judgment on these games. But until then, don't forget to stay tuned to my channel and subscribe if you are new here. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Drop a dislike if you really did disagree with my opinions and dislike the video. But that's what it is. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.